It's your girl Renee. Welcome back to my channel. Here's my face, part of my body. I am wearing a romper from Target. Mm -hmm. Today, I thought I would do this impromptu. I got this idea that maybe I would just put on some, um, some of these products are brand new from my Sephora haul, which is my last video or the one before that. I've actually been kind of filming consecutively now. So yes, thank you. Um, anyways, what we're going to do today is going to be test out some new products and also some bougie end. No, that reminds me. My last video was a drugstore favorites. That's why we're doing bougie today. So check out my last video for drugstore today. I am going absolutely fucking nowhere, but I wanted to sit down and film and just get my face back in front of the camera and um, just kind of show you guys a little no makeup makeup routine. And I'm going to throw in some new products. So it'll be kind of like a try on at the same time as uh, get ready with me type video. So if you're interested to see some bougie shit and me putting it on my face, then just keep watching. You've come to the right place. By the way, if I'm orange, I know I'm still a little bit orange. Um, I wish I would have brought a headband in here. This is my natural hair, by the way, it's kind of, messy and that's half curly and half straight and just yeah but we're just gonna put it up because let's face it there's a lot of it on top of my head and we really don't want it in my face guys i know my armpits are white like i hope they didn't scare anyone because the spray tan that i used is coming off but it's okay. I'm in Seattle. It's actually supposed to be like 80 degrees and sunny out tomorrow. So don't worry. I will be taking advantage of that. So I don't have any makeup on. I put on lip balm earlier. So if there's any sparkle on my lips, that would be why. And uh, we're just going to put on some makeup. So I have not tried this yet. The Dior Air Flash primer and setting spray long lasting airbrushed radiance so we're gonna start with this guy i haven't used it i'm a little scared and i'm wondering how it can be a primer and a setting spray yeah um by the way totally put eyeshadow in in my hair here i have some, um, you know, chunks where I really need my hair done and uh, haven't been able to uh, do that quite yet. It does have a fragrance, definitely does, but I kind of like it. But if you, it's a little perfumey, not gonna lie. If you don't, if you're sensitive to smells and don't like spraying your face, don't get this one. And then, I was going to try, I just got this in my Sephora haul, the Dior, this is one of their newer foundations, the Dior Forever, and I got the matte one. They also make a skin glow one that is more for dry skin. I'm more on the side of oily combo. So, you know, let's, let's just, let's just try it. I also have the Dior Backstage one, which I love, highly recommend this one basically for any skin types. It's a very buildable coverage. I'd say it's medium, but buildable. Also, I have the uh, 24 hour undercover, which right now is my favorite Dior foundation. So I just figured we might as well try this just go a little Dior face right now. So I have this Tarte brush. I usually use um, It Cosmetics, their airbrush foundation brush, but both of mine are insanely dirty. So this does have a pump. 
I got the shade 3, I think that's 3WO, which is warm olive, if you didn't know. And it looks like it might match my Oompa pretty good. And we're just, we're just gonna go in. I don't wanna put on a lot, oh, I just had um, a root canals. I have been through a lot and I haven't discussed quite a lot of it on Instagram. I just feel like I A, don't, I don't like my comment section to be uh, a bunch of people feeling sorry for me and I don't like complaining. So, you know, a lot of times I don't even discuss like what's going on in my life behind the scenes. I just kind of have my outside life and I have my online life and, you know, I share what I want to and I share what I'm comfortable sharing, but sometimes it's just, you know, it's hard for me to draw the line. I used to be um, someone that, okay, I'm not mad at this. It actually covered up, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I do have a little bit, I'm not quite sure about the primer. I think maybe that's why it's not blending as well because I see it blending in areas that then, so I used to be kind of someone that tended to err on the side of over sharing. And I mean, even, you know, with my friends, um, you know, in the real world. And I've had a few experiences where that hasn't turned out so well for me. So I've kind of, learn my lesson and I'm a little bit more cautious of how much I divulge into my private life. And you know, I mean, you gotta draw the line somewhere when you're online. You gotta draw the line online somewhere. So I like this, by the way, this side, you can tell, it just doesn't, I don't know what happens. It just refuses. Even when the sun's like on it, it's like, I am not, I'm not gonna tan. I'm not gonna be like the other side. So I'm just gonna run some of this down. We're getting into matching territory now. That's great. It's always a good idea to match, even when you're going downstairs to sit on the couch, because you never know. Some hot guy could break into my house, and you know, then I'd be prepared. So, yeah. I like this. It doesn't feel really dry. It definitely is matte. It definitely covered me pretty well. I think the color match is good. I'm sold. I mean, I already bought it, so. And let's see, where is my concealer? Nope, don't have my shit together. That, that would be a good day, but, oh, wait, I do. <laughs> I also got this and I wanted to try this, the Too Faced Peach Perfect Instant Coverage Concealer. So that makes it seem like usually concealers take a while to cover. I'm a little confused by that. So I have the shade Bisque. Let's see how runny this is. It's not, it's kind of sticky. It does have that peach scent. But it your my stomach. Oh my gosh. It's really creamy. So I am just going to does this use? I can use this. I'm pretty sure this is an eyeshadow brush, but I'm gonna use it for this concealer just because I want something this shape. So Matte Instant Coverage Concealer in Bisque. Let's just go at it. I do like the tone, the fact that it has a little peach in there. Right in my inner eyes is where I find that 
I get a little, you know, the dark, the darkness that, uh, you know, nice stress and anxiety and age, they all come together and make you look old and dark circles. So I usually try to get in that little crevice just by me, these brushes work well. I like this. I typically am a little nervous about putting something that's fragranced, or at least that seems like it has a lot of fragrance in it, close to my eyes. So, you know, there's that, but I wanna try it, so I'm just gonna use my I'm not gonna do any eyeshadow. I just wanted to try a few of these face products and I'm gonna do my no makeup makeup routine and that's a beauty mark, by the way. In case anyone thinks this is it. It's a permanent set. I've had it since I was a baby. A bye bye. So continuing on our bougie, I have this Giorgio Armani powder. I'm not quite sure what shade this is. I believe it's like 4.5 or something, but I obviously absolutely love it. It is expensive, not gonna lie at all. I, I suck at mine, so, but I actually really do like it. So with days like this, I just put it all over to set my concealer and my foundation and so that everything blends well, because I'm not doing like a super glam look. So in the Seattle area, I'm not quite sure what's going on all over the world. I've kind of stopped watching the news and paying super close attention to it just because it was getting to me and getting to my outlook on life and just positivity in general. So I try to limit my news watching. Let's go with this Tom Ford bronzer. I've used this before. I've had it for a while. I actually forgot about it, but I remember I used to love it. So this is a bronze age number three. It does have a warm tint to it. And this is a Lexi beauty brush. I do have a code with them. I'll leave it below. I'm not going to be one of those people. Don't worry, guys. But I do love their brushes. I wish I would have brought the JD Wadey um, nose contour brush in here. It is perfect for your nose, obviously. I love how she designed a nose contour brush. For those of us, you know, I mean, not all of us can just go get a nose job or want to. So I like to go right there just to make your lips look a little fuller on my jawline so that it creates a shadow. And if this looks choppy, I blend it out at the end. Just thought I'd let you know. And I like to go around the temples of my hair and eyeshadow. <laughs> I've also taken on some other uh, job responsibilities during this quarantine time. I am now a dog groomer, a hairstylist, a hair colorist, a makeup artist. My mom has turned into a cook. Well, she already was an amazing cook, but now she's been baking all the time and cooking these amazing meals for me. So highly, highly just appreciate her for that because I'd be eating my normal shit. I'd probably be just eating Top Ramen. And don't worry, I have a ton, just in case. What, what's now, what now? So I know exactly what blush I want. It's just a matter of if I can easily get to it and I can't. Yes, I can. The new MAC 
I haven't used this shade. I've used the darker berry one. So this is the shade Ruby. It's very bright, but I figured it would, you know, be fun to try. And then I picked up a, this is a newer Anastasia blush brush, A22. I love the highlighting brush. These blushes too, you, you look at this and you think, oh my gosh, that is going to be insane. But they're so buildable and I love the formula, especially for spring, summertime. It's just a really nice formula. So definitely recommend these. And I love Max Blush Brush too. I actually said that good, blush brush. I'm gonna come out of this quarantine and I'm gonna be an English professor. I'm not, not at all. So yeah, that's, that's that. I just want to go a little bit, kind of make my cheeks puffier. Then I have this Natasha Denona Super Glow in the shade 02 Light Medium. Looks like this. Love this highlighter. So I have my Anastasia highlighting brush in the other room. So we're gonna have to improvise. I don't I love how pigmented this is, and it looks like it's gonna be glittery when you look at it in the pan or even when you swatch it. Horrible swatch. Horrible. It's actually just absolutely beautiful. I need brows. I need to put some stuff on my brows. I like putting it on my Cupid's bow right there. I know. Just put a little under my eyebrows because why not? So I have, where is it? Usually what I do is just use the Benefit Gimme Brow. And I also love this Urban Decay. I had to get a new one. Um, they sent me, Urban Decay sent me their new brow products when they came out. Obviously PR isn't really on the priority list for brands right now, but I love this so much that I had to go get my own. So I love that this has a primer side and then it has a color side. And I love this one. I need some more light up in here. This thing, this mirror isn't plugged in. So don't worry. I've already had that thought to turn on this mirror. It's just not plugged in. Then this side has the color, but the brush is so, so tiny and precise. It just does such a good job. Okay. It's a little better. Missing some, uh, some brow hair chunks over there. So, I mean, that took what, like three seconds? And then I'm just gonna take a brow pencil. I don't like this one. Yeah, I don't like this one at all. It just broke off. It's an older Kat Von D. Okay, that's just not working for me. We're just gonna have, um, you know, it's gonna be a messy brow today. That's just what it's gonna be. Whoa there, color. Whoa, ho, 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 buddy. I like to kind of comb up and then down. <laughs> Whoop. Whoa there, tiger. 
have been watching um, In the Dark, which is a Netflix series. There goes the cap to this. It kept breaking off anyways. So I don't really have eyelashes. That's why when I do full glam, I usually have on falsies. But we're just gonna work with what, what I have, what God gave me today. And I look like I might have a few eyelashes. I tried getting, I had eyelash extensions, tried that and developed an allergic reaction to the glue. So no more of that. It's expensive anyways. Even if I didn't, I don't think that I would want to. It's just so much time and money for eyelashes. I just would rather put falsies on to be quite honest. I don't really have bottom eyelashes at all. I just wasn't blessed. I don't does anybody know? Can anybody explain to me why I have so much hair on my head, but not my brows? I'd love to know. Okay, so, you know, that's pretty much it. I do have this other bougie product that I was going to try. So this is a new Gucci lipstick. It's a sheer lipstick, but I mean, look at this packaging. Is that just not the cutest packaging? you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm not, I'm not even going to use a lip liner. Let's hope this is sheer. I'm kind of scared to use it. Oh yeah, it's pretty sheer. Okay. Let's go. That's a pretty pink. It is fragranced. I feel like higher end stuff is always beauty products always have a bit of fragrance. This is nice. I like that it's buildable too. You can just keep adding some color onto my super chopped lips. And um, I think that's it. I think that's all I feel like putting on today. So out of everything that I tried, that is new to me, I would definitely recommend the Dior foundation if you are oily combo skin and check out the, um, the glow one if you're dry skin. And I do really, really like this Gucci. It's a sheer lip tint or a sheer lipstick. I can't read it, but I love the color. I also love the formula. It feels moisturizing on my lips. Now I am ready to give myself a bruise to go hang out with the dogs and we're gonna Netflix and chill. And yeah. I think I'll be doing a giveaway probably pretty soon. So follow me on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. I'm kind of running out of ideas. And um, if there's anything you guys want to see or know, definitely check out my other videos in case I already have done it and answered your questions. But I actually planned on getting my mom in a video. So we were either going to have like my mom does my makeup or maybe like a Q&A. Anyways, let me know what you guys want to see next. And I love you so, so much. I hope everyone is staying safe. If you don't need to leave your house, if your city, you know, whatever your city and your state and your country is doing, Please just do it for the safety of you, your family, and the rest of the world. So I love you and I will see you in my next video.